some changes, some changes made. I can't keep on doing what I've been doing these days. Better figure out something, things are looking great. There are gonna be some changes, changes, changes made. An outstanding uh, state representative, uh, vice chair of the Illinois Democratic Party, Connie Howard. Connie? Yay! Thank you, Connie. Thank you very much. Good morning, Illinois Democrats. Good morning. And greetings to all of those who are on the dais with me this morning. Let me start by saying kudos to our mayor from the city of Chicago. As usual, Mr. Mayor, you have done an outstanding job of making certain that these sessions operate smoothly and in a timely manner. You keep us on track. Great. As well, congratulations to our Democratic Party of Illinois Chair, Speaker Michael Madigan, especially Tim Mapes, for the months and months of work done to make sure that our state's involvement <laughs> there have been months and months of work that have been done to make certain that our state's involvement in this national event are certainly meaningful. To say the least, I am appreciative of the information imparted at these breakfast sessions by those speakers whose messages have been just as inspiring as some of the presentations that I've heard at the Pepsi Center. Well, we finally arrived at the big day, the day when our candidate, Senator Barack Obama, will deliver his acceptance speech. And of course, we're all so excited and anxiously waiting for our marching orders as we prepare to return to Illinois and do all that is necessary to assure that he is victorious on November 4th. Certainly, I have no doubt that at the end of the day, on November 4th, Illinois will be in the win, the big win column for our candidate. But I am hopeful that we are still all committed to leaving no stone unturned. I am pleased at the involvement of so many young people across our state and, of course, across our nation. But I experienced something several days ago that leads me to believe that not all of our young people who are eligible will be able to participate in the electoral political process because they are not registered to vote. I'll tell you a little story. Young man as an intern in my office had been there the entire summer, working hard, learning all about what we're about in this process. And as he was leaving, going back to school in a beautiful uh, country, and I mean, it's part of our country in the South, I said to him, you know, we got a big job to handle now. We got a big thing to do in November. And he looked at me sort of blanketly, uh, you know, like, what was I talking about? And I said, you know, November 4th is election day. You are registered, aren't you? And you know what he told me? I am not registered. I was certainly appalled. Uh, having worked in my office the entire summer, I had not raised the question with him. But of course, I immediately registered him to vote. And I made him pledge to me that as he returned to his school, that he would assume the responsibility of talking to all of his fellow students, determining their registration status, if necessary, getting motor voter cards to them, complete it, return to my office, and of course my office will in turn make certain that these cards are transported to the Board of Elections, and we'll make certain that absentee ballot applications get to those individuals, get into their hands, that they're filled out, that they're returned, and of course, he said to me, he's gonna make certain that they all take their absentee ballot, complete it, and get it back in the mail to the Board of Elections. Now obviously, I am talking about only one of the many colleges and universities across our country where there might be similar situations where a lot of the students are not registered. I urge those of you here to join me and communicate with young people in your lives. 
whether they're attending institutions in our state or outside of our state. And as well, talk to your relatives and friends across this country and urge them to do the same for students residing in other states. I believe the involvement of our young people can be significantly impactful. And I want to make certain that all of them can participate as Barack Obama becomes the next president of the United States. Will you help me? Thank you very much.